Holy moly. Jorg. Jorgy. Jorg, Jorg, Jorg. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I read this. I didn't listen to the audiobook, so I... J-O-R-G. Jorg? It's a strange name for a protagonist. A lot of strange choices for a protagonist. And this one, it's storming outside, which is oddly fitting for a lot of the things I'm about to say about this book. But if you're a huge fan and you get mad at me saying that because you think I'm about to just solidly roast it, that's not the case. I want to go ahead and say right here at the beginning, I feel that the author accomplished exactly the goals he set out to, and he did a magnificent job of that. Mark Lawrence wrote this story to have you follow the most despicable, unlikable, garbage protagonist ever. And every line of Jorg's thoughts and dialogue make you want to shower. He is a garbage person. Really, Mark Lawrence's writing just drips with venom and disgusting thoughts. Oh, I hated reading this book, but I'm well aware there are going to be many people out there who love this because some people like following the worst people. And if you are one of those people, link to buy the book in the description down below using my Amazon affiliate link, support the channel. <laughs> because this book is probably exactly up your alley because I have never seen a protagonist be given zero redeemable qualities before. Jorg is literally like my worst nightmare as a person. He is a murderer, self-absorbed, views everyone else as an object, sociopath, who I, like, I would, if I was locked in a room with him, I'd probably just kill myself, because I don't know. I just, I want to shower reading his thoughts. Ugh. So if that sounds appealing to you, I'm not talking about like, oh, he's evil, like Glotka is evil, but like Glotka you can kind of understand, it's relatable, like he went through a lot, he does some horrible things, but he's kind of charming in a weird way, and he's intelligent, it's like, you under, no, 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 no. No, Jorg is just a monster. The worst thing ever as a person monster. He's not even like, he's not even Ted Bundy or like he was a charming, per no, he's not a charming person. It's more like just Ramsey, but he's your protagonist and arguably a worse person. Maybe they're, they're like right on the same level of just awfulness as human beings. Ramsey from A Song of Ice and Fire, not, not Gordon Ramsey although he seems like a bit of a jerk, but that's kind of a character. W moving on. So if you've been craving a story that does that, specifically, that is the only people I will recommend Prince of Thorns to. If you wake up in the morning and you're like, I want a protagonist who makes me feel like I need to bathe. Prince of Thorns, it's, it's never been done better in my knowledge. Just following baby tiny in the making because he's a young child and uh, oh according to some quick googling apparently saying that specific dictator's name can get me flagged in youtube so i'm gonna bleep it and from now on i'll just say uh tiny evil german man was he short i'm gonna assume he was short he probably wasn't but i'm just gonna say so because i like that yeah he's a tiny evil german dictator equivalent in the making and he's like 14 and he's he's the worst 14 year old ever. I I severely hate him. If he was the antagonist in a equally as well written story, I would be praising the author for writing one of the best villains I've come across in fantasy. Wow. Bold choice, Mark Lawrence, and I applaud you for it, and I think you did a spectacular job. It's written in first person, by the way, and that drove me nuts. I know some people don't mind it. I hate first person stories, but it, his writing style was so good. I just kind of was able to slip by it. His writing style is magnificent. Mark Lawrence is a great writer, but if you hate first person writing, you might be bothered by that as I was reading this, but, but he puts you in the head of this just <laughs> because you're following like Joffrey level caliber of evil here. So yeah, his thought processes, the way he views other people is they're all just to be used. They're nothing. Ugh. This book was exhausting. I'm gonna be honest, like I, I didn't like reading it, but I respect how well it did what it wanted to do. He, wow. But to anyone who wants to read grim dark and thinks, oh, this seems like the most grim dark, let's start there. No, 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 no. Because Prince of Thorns, well, it did execute its character work as I've talked about fantastically. Everything else was good to meh. I found the world building to be meh. The first person perspective kind of made it so Jorg was so self-centered and thinking about how he could use others around him. There wasn't much page time spent to fleshing out the world itself. 
There was some decent political dynamic stuff building on, but I just, I don't know, I didn't love that. The relationships were good at best. Once again, we're following a character in the first person who's so self-centered that there really wasn't hardly any relationship building at all. And that actually kind of hurt the book. And I don't feel like it's Mark Lawrence's fault necessarily because of this very specific scenario he has set himself in as a writer where we're following a sociopathic child who does not care about anyone in the first person. Not many other characters will be fleshed out and the relationships aren't really going to be built because everyone's an object, everyone can be used, no one matters at all. And that's where Prince of Thorns, in my opinion, has its biggest weaknesses. Well, Jorg is fascinating in the sense that I, I really have not read anything like that before, having the protagonist be this... Monster's too nice of a word because there are nicer monsters. Godzilla is nicer than this trash person, trash person. So I would recommend so many other more uh, deep, more meaty in terms of sustenance uh, fantasy series. If you have not read First Law and you want to get into Grim Dark, go First Law. It's better by leaps and bounds in almost every other category aside from character work. And even then, I would give the edge to First Law because it's building up and giving you so many great characters who you understand and almost feel like you know intimately by the end, where Prince of Thorns is just spending all of its character time in this one brain and it's where all the energy is focused. So, of course, he feels a bit deeper but even then, I wouldn't say he's deeper than Glatka. Glatka is a more interesting character, like 100%, just because he's more relatable, you understand him better. And this is where my heaviest criticism of Prince of Thorns is going to come in. And I imagine I will anger some of the fans here, but because I found the lead here to be so unlikable, I got to the point where I'm not rooting for him to win ever. I don't care about his goals. I want him to trip in the street and fall on a knife and die. So investing me in the story became nearly impossible. I don't think any author could write a story where I'm actively invested in this character's goals if they're this just of a person. And everything I'm saying here is personal preference 100% at this point. But I find following a character like Glotka to be a thousand times more compelling because, well, he is objectively a bad person for a lot of the things he does. At least he's very understandable in where he's coming from, his objectives. He has some redeemable qualities in certain ways, a deep enough backstory that he feels almost justified in some awful kind of twisted ways to be doing what he does throughout the story. Jorg here... That doesn't exist. He's just a sociopath. He's just a bad person. Well, I feel like it was an interesting experiment to have Jorg be this thing and follow a story with him. I'm not compelled to pick up book two. And I know, I know, I've, it's been told to me a million times already. The series gets better with book two and three, and that's why I'm going to probably make myself pick up book two. But as of now, it's not going to be high priority from me, and my review of Prince of Thorns would be, if you haven't already, pick up First Law instead out of 10. Because First Law is equally as dark in most ways and has a whole lot more interesting characters to follow, more nuance and depth, a better world, a better story, more compelling political things. And that's kind of the bane, I feel like, at least in my fantasy back catalog of Red series, where Prince of Thorns kind of has its Achilles heel exposed. It can't live up to first law. I don't think book two or three could be good enough to propel it to be on that level. I have a twisted, weird curiosity that like maybe it could be, maybe book two, I'm suddenly swept up by this monster, a trash person, and I am so invested in the story all of a sudden because a lot of the groundwork to get me invested is there, but it didn't hook me in book one. Not, not, even, not even a little bit as a joke. It's so fascinating to see an idea I do not like so much be done so well. So yeah, there are people out there I'd recommend this book to. If you want to follow a sadistic sociopath, go right on ahead. For people who just want to get into Grimdark as a, a wider subgenre of fantasy, go First Law. That's my recommendation after reading Prince of Thorns. And if you don't like Grimdark, don't, don't read any of those. Go, go pick up some Brandon Sanderson, he's awesome. But anyway, I'm well aware this video is going to result in paragraphs upon paragraphs. What you have to understand is I know, and I'm willing to accept that this is an incredibly well-written character with a great writing style and all these things, and I am completely okay with other people liking this story. But you gotta respect the fact it did not appeal to me 
it, it, it at all. It's impressive how much it did not appeal to me. So honestly, respect Mark Lawrence as an author. I would be willing to pick up other works by him because I think he is spectacular at achieving his goals as an author, but I did not want this goal to ever be achieved out of 10. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here and read some of my short stories that I am working on for the Patreons as well. And buy the book using the Amazon affiliate link down below if you want to pick up tiny evil German historical figure in the making, uh, the, the book. It's really, it's what this is. Felt like to me anyway. And I kept this entirely spoiler free. <laughs> have a good one, y'all. Peace. So I need to redo a high tier Patreon name shout out because I, I butchered it so bad last time. And after reading or listening to the name sample you gave me, I'm fairly certain your name is Bo Bodevar Friedrichsen. Budevar Bo 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 Friedrichsen. I've, dude, I even listened to it like twice. That's, that's, that is so difficult for me for some reason. I'm sorry. I'll do it again if you want. I'll try again.